everyone, it's Kylie Vitucci here with you and hopefully I am live on YouTube right now. <clears throat> I'm going over here to have a look to make sure. <laughs> Every time I use this switcher program I'm like, is it working? I hope it's working. We shall soon find out. But I'm quickly jumping on. Oh good, it's there. Excellent. I love it when technology works. So I wanted to quickly jump on because I had um, a lot of questions about a new card that I posted this morning for our tutorial bundle designers, a blog hop. Yes, it's a mouthful. It is this gorgeous card here using the lovely lattice celebration item that will be free with every $90 purchase in January. Uh, and that gorgeous sentiment is from, let's see if I can remember it without looking at it incredible like you yes I got it right I love it when I get the names right <laughs> so those two combinations I think are absolutely beautiful it's very simple it's just white embossing but the question that I had was how did I use the silver embossing paste to make this pretty flower so I'm going to show you how easy it is seriously it's so easy you're going to be like are you serious? Why haven't I been using this before? So I'm going to flip you over to show you how you do this. And you'll be using this silver embossing paste continually because I'm like addicted now. So let's just jump on in. Hi, you can still see me there. Now I was looking at my desk and I'm like, um, it could help if I actually have the silver embossing paste. I'm ready to go for my next live video and then I'm like, ah, oh, the paste could help. <laughs> Here it is. So this is our embossing paste. Now it might be, get a bit confusing when you hear about embossing powder and embossing paste. They are two very different things. So the thing that you have to make sure of is that you look in the annual catalog. We have shimmery white. We have the silver embossing paste. And we also have white embossing paste. So this is the silver embossing paste here. Oh, that's the little lid that's on the inside to protect it. But check that out. And that is like full as anything. And look at that deliciousness of that paste. It is so beautiful. So if you wanted to, you could actually just use the silver, not even color it because it's just so pretty as it is. And you will actually see if you... Uh, purchase from me if you live in Australia and you purchase from me you will get a free tutorial bundle that includes a tutorial on how I used this embossing paste and created my own uh, stencils so <clears throat> you can either purchase from me get it for free or it's $20 Australian to get that tutorial bundle and you'll get even more ideas on how to use the embossing paste so this is the gorgeous card here now you can see um, it's quite difficult to photograph just the texture and even the, the colour that the silver embossing paste adds to this gorgeous card. So let's just play with this now. I've already pre-cut my card down so that we're ready to go. And I've also pre-embossed so that this will be a very quick and easy and simple tutorial. You can tell I've used this bone folder well. I just want to make sure it doesn't transfer any ink because I just I just did that. I just made a big mess. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's the sort of crafter I am. I'm a very messy crafter. Is there any other messy crafters out there? I'm one. So that is literally just my card. I just did a base. And this one I've cut at 9 point... No, I've done it 10 centimetres by 14.4 and then just done a, a little mat on top like that so super simple and then for your embossing paste what I found was really easy I don't want that block we want this block because I've already used this one was to use the aqua painter and I've taken out the water so it's still like it's still a little bit moist so just take that off I don't want it to be too stiff but I don't want it watery either and if you wanted to you could actually grab your and this would probably better be better to grab your picker tool. Do I even have it in there? No, of course I don't. Who put my picker tool away? I'm gonna to blame Jessie, because she's not here. Although Bruno's not away either. 
Bruno's away, so I can blame him. <laughs> it's actually my fault. Truth be known, but I, there's my picker tool. So I think it's actually really good to use the splayed end. You've got the pointy end, and so you just put this one on. And then just grab your beautiful, luscious... Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Honestly, I would buy this just to look at it and go, Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> It's like the most beautiful paste and to think that this dries and make this really, really cool effect. So just wipe that off and of course you want to have like a tissue or even a baby wipe is really good just to get off any of the excess um, paste on there. And you also want to make sure that you're not leaving this out too long. I mean you can leave it out but not too long because then you, you know it's going hard. And we don't want the paste to go hard. So I literally did one drop of Melamumbo. But if you wanted to, you could totally do more. I haven't even looked to see if there's been comments from everyone. Hello, if you're on there. <laughs> hello, hello, if you're out there. I'm just like, let's just get on with this, huh? Because I know that I'm going live at two o'clock. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm on time for my Facebook Live. So that is how easy it is. See that, I just mixed it up. And now I'm gonna go over to my flower and the only thing that I noticed is that you don't wanna go over the white emboss. I mean, of course you're gonna get, get it in some areas, but try not to go all the way to the edge because it actually colors in the white emboss and then you don't end up with like a defined area of the flower. It's like the flower sort of just disappears in this smudge of pink. And ask me how I know that. <laughs> Trial and error. <laughs> now, the cool thing about this is you're sort of starting off this first layer. You don't have to do a whole lot of texture in this one. But then when you come back, that's when you can actually start layering and adding the like texture, which is really good fun. So we're just coming in here and you can just sort of dab in the small bits, little dabs, not go too crazy. But it is very, can you see, I'm calm. I'm like, this is so therapeutic. Coloring in with my paste. So this is a really cool technique. Now remember you've got the shimmery white and you've also got the this is the silver emboss, and you've also got the white, and all of them are just so brilliant. You can color them. So you see how I start adding this next layer, and then it starts sort of picking up more of the color because it's like a solid um, material. It's not gonna disappear into the black. And it gives you that awesome pop of color and the added bit of texture that makes it look unreal banana peel and look how easy it is like I had so many people going oh my goodness I think there was a um, someone on one of the groups that said I'm really scared of that sort of stuff it freaks me out and I get it like I was freaked out too but when you see it done like this you're just like really what exactly was I scared of it really is just like using out inks and blending so there you go don't go too crazy even though there's all this look how much is left over and you saw how much I put on tiny little scoop of this and look how much is there <laughs> so you don't use a lot and yet it's a very good value to get this whole jar of paste it really is not a break to the budget so can you see that? See like all the different bits of texture? Do we like that? Whoa, look at that. Pa-ching, pa -ching. So pretty. And like I find by doing less, it's definitely more. You don't want to go too crazy as I, as I add more. <laughs> but it is, it's so addictive. So rather than doing it to the same flower, just get another flower and do it to that. Because honestly, you're going to want to keep going. And again, with this, I just washed it underwater. It came off really quickly. 
um, and easily. And that was after I left it overnight because I didn't wash it after I used it yesterday. And it was still fine. So it's not going to ruin your aqua painter either. I have tested it, I can assure you. And you just really want to make sure, where do we put our lid for this? Oh, there. You want to make sure that this lid goes on very tight because sadly, and of course I've got ink everywhere, but sadly I did not put the lid properly on my white one. So really squeeze it tight. And if you want, keep it in its bag because um, that will just give it extra extra sealing so that hopefully you don't have it go hard like it did for mine so just really keep that tight and that my friends is it and so then I'll just be gluing this down once this is dry I'm going to glue that down onto there that onto there and you have yourself the most stunning card and if you wanted to you could go and do other colors you could even do the leaves in different colors. Like I grabbed out mint macaron, but I want to be super quick because I have seven minutes left to my other life. <laughs> so that is how easy it is. And I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. And if you live in Australia and you want a free tutorial bundle to know how to make more amazing cards using this amazing paste, then you just have to purchase from me and you get it for free. And if you want to come and join me today, I'm over at Facebook Live. I'm about to go live. Um, even if you don't catch me live, the recording will be there too. So thank you so much for coming and thanks for watching. If you're watching the replay, craftykylie.com. And I'm happy to take any comments, questions. Let me know what you think about this idea. Tell me if you like it because I love hearing from everyone. And I'm sure you will see me soon for these very quick YouTube videos. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. See you.